So I've been staying at this homeless shelter up the street on Housatonic Street called Soldier On. It's actually an old hospital turned into a homeless shelter for vets. Uh, and in the hallway, on the side, they have a, it's called Overflow. So anyone like me or just anyone around the area, as long as we're not, you know, smashed, it's called a wet shelter. So you could possibly, you know, be intoxicated or something, but if you're not raising hell, you can stay there. Um, I've been staying there since Monday, and it was this whole thing uh, Thursday that they said they were going to be closing, and I saw on the news that uh, St. Joe's School was uh, turning into a homeless shelter. They just changed the whole thing. Um, but they said they were open up this week, meaning I was assuming Monday this week. So on Thursday, you know, we left at 8 o'clock. And then uh, we're walking down the street, and I, I see the guys that we were that we were all at. And they said that they were talking with cops, and the school's not going to be open. It's still closed. So now everyone's starting to panic, running around, trying to figure stuff out. And I was just like, you know what? I need info. So I walked down to the school. Door was open. Walked right in. I talked to the guy there. He says, we're not going to be open until Monday. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, we can't be walking on the streets until Monday. So I called Soldier on and told him all the details. They put me on hold for a minute. The guy came back and is like, okay, okay, here's the deal. We're going to be open until Monday or even Tuesday. Until that place opens, we're going to be open. So he says, gather all the guys up and tell them what the news was. So we were running around town trying to gather up all the guys in the street. And we told them, you know, Soldier Island is still going to be open. We just have to wait till 4. And they all, we all started getting happy and stuff. So we, we're, we're still there. You know, we're all talk, you know, trying to talk about... You know what places are open what places are not what places are hiring you know i i'm i do the whole survival thing so i'm like i'm advising i'm like where, where's the public restroom where's a porta potty where's a good place to wash your hands um you know if you are stuck on the street what to you know what to use to warm up um i usually try to locate vertical um they're like air conditioning units but they actually output heat the vertical ones where the fans on the top are they pull in cool air Whereas the vertical ones actually push out hot air. Um, just little things like if it's raining, where to, where to go undercover. I found a gazebo at a park. Um, like storefronts. There's plugs near the storefronts. You can charge your phone or something. Um, you can see my family dollar right now. They're still open. Uh, Cumberland Farms is still open 24-7. Everything else is takeout or drive-through. You can't be in the lobby. I went to the train, uh, the bus station, because my my T pass, well, T Boston T pass, expired um, January 20th, and I was asking, you know, how I could renew the bus pass. But this is not; it's a disability bus pass, so I actually have to go back to Boston, go back to the Charlie Card store in downtown, and try to reapply for it. But the, the only way I can get authorized for this type of pass is I have to um, go to like a therapist or a physician, which I can't because they're all closed. Dentist offices are all closed. And thankfully I was able to actually get a dollar by a metal file and I filed that, that sharp tooth that was cutting my tongue. I filed it down three days later. My tongue's all fine. It's not cut anymore, it's healing. Um, So, like, um, and I've even talked to a couple cops trying to figure out, like, what to do. One cop was, you know, telling me, like, you know, the eight hours is supposed to be job search. And I'm like, you know that all of us are still on the sidewalks because there aren't any jobs hiring. If they were, we wouldn't be homeless. You know, if my hours weren't cut so much, I was making over $300 a week. And I was able to stay at a place. I was trying to get into, like, a room for rent for, like, $600, $700 a month. Um... Bel Air Air was convenient because it was directly across the highway from my job. They include cable, Wi-Fi, electricity, hot water. Um, <coughs> but if I go anywhere else, I, I just want a, like a room for rent once I start working again. Otherwise, 
like I mean hard, like maybe a hardware store maybe like this place I just applied for Cumberland Farms so if they check my uh, if they call my phone then I could submit a resume um, because they don't have that little button where you can attach a file like the PDF from LinkedIn or indeed for the resume I have my resume right on my phone Google Drive and I have multiple Google Drive accounts Thankfully this phone, the battery lasts a long time. It's very responsive. I still have all the contact apps. Um, but, uh, oh, and I even went to the police station yesterday with another person. We were trying to ask for like volunteer work, something to just keep us busy. You know, we'd be inside and I asked if, you know, if I could clean the, the police station or something or clean the, the cars. They aren't doing any volunteer work because of the outbreak. Um, and you notice I don't I don't call it COVID-19. I call it outbreak because I just think it's ridiculous calling it that. Just I just think it's weird calling a virus a name like like calling a tree maple or pine or oak when that tree might actually have its own name for it. I mean, you could call it Latin for something else, but it actually might have its own name. Who knows? So the virus might have its own name. It could be called, what was a um, helix virus. It's a new one. It just came out. You can, you can look at someone with a virus and you'll be infected. You could talk to this on the phone for someone and be infected. So, so right now, thankfully, we have until Monday. Um, to stay at this place and then we're all gonna transfer there's another one called Barton's Crossing they're closing too and we're all gonna transfer to the school um, it's not so congested um, you know it's a school so there'll be way more public restrooms um, this one actually does breakfast lunch and dinner um, and if you stay if you stay you can actually you know you can get lunch there's like a couple TVs um, and then my whole plan is like, stay stay until 12, get some lunch, go out, you know, do job search and stuff, and then come back at 4, get dinner, and then shower, and then sleep and stuff. Which I, I think it's more convenient because this one's directly in town versus having to walk a mile and a half up the road on the sidewalk, which is sidewalks all choppy. But if we're in downtown, if we're in middle of town, you know, as soon as the outbreak ends and stuff, they said four to six weeks minimum if you know because that's when everyone's expecting to uh, overcome the virus in early may or at least a late april and then after that jobs should start be um, opening up again and then we can all go out and do job search and gain some money and then get back on our feet so that's the update it's april 4th at 10 a.m right now so